Hey everyone. Hard to believe, but it's been almost a year since the last Riot Please video. And since then, a lot has happened. We tested our first experimental mode, Nexus Splits. And while it didn't make the permanent roster, we learned a ton, and we're still looking for modes that could be new, long-term additions to League. Ranked Remastered launched, establishing two new tiers, dividing the season into three splits with unique rewards, and hopefully improving your climb from Iron to Grandmaster. We unchained Silas, revealing more about the dark side of Damasia's relationship with magic. We kicked off our partnership with Marvel Comics, introduced you to the crew of the Morning Star. Nico and Yumi hit the rift, and Kale and Morgana were reborn in a dual VGU. We were blown away by your response to KDA, who went on to become one of our most popular skin lines of all time, with a legitimate hit song under their belt, not to mention the most watched video we've ever made. Our eSport has continued to see incredible pro play at the highest levels, with record-breaking engagement at both last year's World Finals and most recently, MSI, where the gap closed and EU did prove to be greater than NA. So much has happened, and as always, we're so appreciative of you being on this ride with us. Whether it's running a major eSport event, creating a new skin, or delving deeper into the universe, Everyone on the team works incredibly hard with one goal in mind, to create experiences we hope you'll love. Okay, now that we're all caught up, let's talk about the state of the game. We're well into season 2019, and all things considered, we're very happy with the state of the meta right now. Many of the changes over the last 18 months have led to a game state that is simultaneously more stable and more diverse. Rewarding for carries, but also great team play, fun to play in normals, and exciting to watch in pro play. We plan to stay on this path. By reducing the rate of change during the season, we think there's less of a burden for you to keep up and more room for you to bring creativity and innovation to the game. At the same time, we're better positioned than ever before to respond quickly when champions get out of balance across all skill levels. We're also happy with some of the more systemic changes we've made. For example, the changes to mid and late game vision have succeeded in encouraging more aggressive team play, which you've seen on display at Worlds and MSI. Although it started off rocky, champion options in bot lane are in a healthy spot. Every now and again, we see exciting non-marksman picks and ADCs remain powerful and highly present at all levels of play. Lastly, the preseason changes hit their mark by one, strengthening laning phase, two, making comebacks more achievable, and three, resolving decided games more quickly. Looking ahead, work on the upcoming preseason is progressing well. It's too early to share details, but we hope to communicate more soon. Let's talk about the client. We've heard your feedback about the state of the client, and the truth is, you're right. The state of the client isn't what it should be, and it's taken us way too long to improve things. However, over the last few months, we have been making important changes that were a prerequisite for us to be able to identify the root causes of the issues many of you have been experiencing. Now we can finally tackle long overdue work on client performance without shooting in the dark. And that's what we plan to do. We're sorry for how long it's taken us to make improvements here, but you can expect us to make meaningful progress shortly. In addition, now that we've deprecated support for Windows XP, we can finally upgrade the client to a modern version of Chromium, which should come with generally improved performance. We've also significantly improved how patching works, making game updates much faster and more reliable. While the old patcher took an average of eight minutes to update League, the new patcher averages less than 40 seconds. A small percentage of you will have seen a new sign-in flow for League on PBE. We'll be rolling out changes to the sign-in flow throughout the year, including the ability to stay signed in, two-factor authentication, and background patching later this year. This next update is something I'm really excited to talk to you about. I mentioned before that we're continuing to look for new modes that could be permanent additions to League. 
Team Fight Tactics is our next shot at this. TFT is our take on the emerging auto battler subgenre, with some new aspects we think make for a uniquely league experience. Like Nexus Blitz, we want to build this mode with you, and so we're releasing it in beta so we can quickly iterate based on your feedback. Once we're sure the initial release is stable, one of our first planned iterations is to follow up with a TFT ranked queue. We're also introducing a new product called Little Legends for TFT. Little Legends will be your avatar on the TFT battlefield and your main way of interacting with other players. They'll also join you on Howling Abyss, where they'll appear as pets that cheer you on from the sidelines. And maybe the most important detail to share is, TFT is letting us deliver on a long-awaited player promise. Pengu will come to League as a TFT Little Legend. We're very excited to see what you think. If you'd like more detail on TFT, see the articles linked below. After nearly a decade of taking 500 damage from Flash, yes, it's true, we're finally updating the death recap screen. Our goal was pretty straightforward. We wanted to make death recap accurate, informative, and easy to read, so you can meaningfully adapt to whatever your enemies are throwing at you. The new death recap should hit PBE in the next patch and go live in 914. So have a look and let us know what you think. Rest in peace, old death recap. Your watch has ended. A word on Clash. As we've discussed, Clash's technical problems stem from its unique pattern of needing to start many games at once. After the last round of testing, we realized we needed to make some fundamental changes to the design of the system if we wanted it to work at the right scale. So that's what we've been doing, and we'll be bringing it back for regional testing soon. We want to thank you all for your patience and continued enthusiasm for Clash. Despite the stops and starts, every time players get to experience Clash, you tell us that you love the format and want to see it live. We do too, and we're still working hard to bring Clash to life. You can read more about our current plans in our most recent dev blog, linked in the video description below. Before I go, there's a pretty big moment coming later this year that I do want to mention. All of us on League are incredibly excited and humbled that in October, League will celebrate its 10th anniversary. We think about League as a game that we build together with all of you. So celebrating our 10th anniversary is really a celebration of what we've done together over the last decade. We've got some fun stuff planned to mark the occasion and a ton to share about the future of League. So stay tuned for more details as we get closer to October. From all of us on League, thank you so much for playing and we'll see you on the Rift.